Hi, welcome home. Hold still. No, no, no. No excuses. Before you say anything, I have to make sure you're okay. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm inspecting you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be all over the place or everywhere or just... I don't mean to be concerned about you. <laughs> it's weird, I just love you, and I, I think I deserve a phone call or something. Shh, hey, no, no excuses. I'm not done, let me just make sure you're okay. Uh, I, I think you're fine. Now that you're all checked out, where were you? N no, no excuses. No long answers. Where were you? Wh where have you been? No, no. I don't think you understand. I don't want you to give me any reasons why you were late. <laughs> why you told me you'd be home two hours ago. Just, where were you? Oh, lost track of time. <laughs> That's not a location. That's an, it's an excuse. I'm sorry. I'm sure you have a good reason why to keep me here worried. Okay, D do you remember this morning? Before we both left, I told you I was going out with friends, and I'd be home around... I don't even remember. But I was home when I said I was. And you... You know what you told me? Maybe... Uh, here, maybe this will refresh your memory. Um, <clears throat> You said you'd be home before I would be home. Then you and your friends were just going to go out to eat or something. And although I was worried, because anything could happen to you, I, I trusted you. Because I love you, and of course I trust you. But if, if you're not going to be home when you say you're going to be home, or, or not even call me... Breathe. So you're concerned about me. Me talking too fast and not taking in enough oxygen. <laughs> Thank you for your concern. I'm breathing. Okay, I'm calm. But I was worried about you. I was freaking out and every time I tried to call you, you wouldn't answer. Oh. You lost your phone. Real convenient. You know what I think? I think your friends think I'm too much. And they wanted you to ignore me. <laughs> I could. I, I could be overthinking. Or I can remember a conversation your friends had with one another. They thought I had left, but little did they know, I forgot my keys. I come back inside and I, I hear them talking about me. That I'm just all over the place and too much and, and I don't give you enough alone time. They don't realize that, th that this world is a dangerous and crazy place and, and anything could happen to you. And... I don't want anything to happen to you. I love you. And you're my one and only. You're, you're irreplaceable. And it is my duty to protect you. So when you're out all alone, just... Fine. You weren't all alone. But when you're out without me, at least call me. Use your friend's phone or something. 
I worry about you. A anything could happen, and and if I'm not there, then then. S sit down. Y you want me to to take a seat and unwind and just. Where were you? You were just on a walk, huh? Where anything could have happened to you. And I, I couldn't have been there to, to, to protect you, to... Sweetie, I know you're concerned about me. But telling me to calm down is gonna do the exact opposite of calming down. <laughs> Okay, fine, we need to talk, sure. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> you just want to talk about me needing to calm down. I, I don't... I can't just calm down. I, I do give you space. You had space earlier. I went out with my friends, you went out with your friends, and, and you lost your phone, and, and you were home late, and it's as if you, you weren't even concerned. You weren't even worried about what could have happened. You... No. You thought you were safe, but you never truly know. And I, I wasn't there to protect you. Well, I see that you were fine now. But earlier, what if something happened and, and you're not telling me, and I couldn't protect you, and... Sweetie, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. You don't have to worry about me. Of course I have to worry about you. You, you didn't have your phone. No, I, I get it. Sometimes, sometimes things happen. Sometimes we lose our phones. You could have found a different way. You, you... I tried calling your friends, but they don't like me. They think I'm too much. They, th they think I, I overwhelm you. You told them that, didn't you? That I can be overwhelming, or too overprotective. That's, that's why they're doing this. They want to give you some space away from me, without me blaming you. <laughs> so you just talk about this sometimes. Why didn't you tell me? I'm the one you should be talking to. No, no. I get you want to tell your friends some things. Trouble's on your mind. But you need to talk to me as well. Oh, yeah. You didn't want to hurt my feelings. It worked. My feelings aren't hurt at all. I'm perfectly fine. Knowing that now your friends think I'm crazy because I, I'm just overprotective and too much. No, you don't have to be sorry. I'm sorry. I, I guess I just care too much. You, you don't need to apologize. I get it. I'm, I'm crazy. Or just a little too overwhelming. You have nothing to apologize for. I'm just gonna give you space. Please don't feel bad. If you feel bad, I'll feel worse. I, I get it. I get it. You didn't want to talk to me. You didn't want to hurt my feelings. I get it. You were protecting me. Like how I was trying to protect you. But, um, you just have fun. Look for your phone if it's here somewhere. And, 
I love you too. But I'm going to give you alone time. And I'm going to give myself alone time. And we'll just enjoy the silence. Or something. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I hurt my own feelings. I didn't mean to make you feel... Like this. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go lay down and just try to sleep. I am. Um, I don't feel very well. Yeah, yeah. I love you too.